The United Nations 17 Global Goals for Sustainable Development promise to make a better world in the next 15 years by ending poverty, fighting inequality and injustice, and halting climate change by 2030. But can these goals really succeed when one in every two children in the world is a victim of violence? Violence, in its many forms, impacts every aspect of a child's life, impairing them physically, mentally and developmentally for years to come. Children who experience violence have a much greater likelihood of school dropout and lifelong unemployment, poverty, substance abuse and physical and mental health problems. Financial investments in areas like health and education are significantly undermined by the costs associated with violence and its short and long-term consequences. And the cycle goes on and on because children who are victims of violence are more likely to become victims or perpetrators of violence in later life. The good news is, violence is preventable. There are solutions that we know can work. Promoting parenting skills, empowering families economically, improving access to healthcare, and advocating for laws and behaviors that protect children from harm have already shown great results in reducing violence against children in many countries of the world. Public investments in these solutions won't just make life better for millions of children around the world. They are also critical to making progress on other developmental goals, like reducing poverty and hunger, improving education, health and gender equality. Sustainable development begins with safe, healthy and well-educated children who grow up to become educated, healthy and productive adults. If the global goals are to succeed, the world's governments need to put children at the centre of our goals to build a better world. Let's put children at the centre.